Hey guys, Ken Ross here, and I'm a business consultant that specializes in reducing costs for businesses by looking at essential expenses. And today, I want to spend a little bit of time today talking about 5G and why I really feel like you should understand what 5G is before you want to invest in it. I know a lot of folks, they're really excited about all the 5G phones. They've been uh, getting on board with the free iPhone train. I've talked to some people, they've upgraded their uh, devices. There's all also a at-home device that you can put in your home that taps into the 5G spectrum and it provides Wi-Fi in your house, right? These are all things you need to understand are out there or are available to you and vendors are really pushing for because what they're trying to do is they're trying to get enough of a market to to increase their footprint on the higher bands. And when I say higher bands of 5G, I'm gonna explain a little bit about why I believe people need to understand what 5G is about in detail before you invest in it. Because honestly, what you could be doing is investing in the same thing. It's like buying a car, right? Having that car and saying, I'm gonna buy the new car and the new car is no different than the old car. So let me, let me kind of get into it a little bit. Let me help you understand what 5G is, let me give you some resources. I have a couple of resources in the description of this video that I really think you should check out. And then once you understand what 5G is, once you understand that not everything is what you think it is, right? Or what is advertised, then, then you can make the best decision for yourself and you can understand. So let's get into it. The first thing I wanna talk about is the frequency at which 5G runs. 5G runs in various different what we call bands. And in the resources that I'm gonna send you, one of the resources I'm gonna send you from Nokia, it talks about really three levels of bands. There's the low bands, there's the mid bands, there's two of those, and then there's the higher band. Every time you hear about 5G and you hear about the way it's advertised, when Verizon talks about 5G, when no, AT&T or T-Mobile talk about 5G. They talk about the higher bands. Why? Because the high band is exclusive to 5G. It's where ultra wideband lives if you're a Verizon customer, right? When they talk about 5G ultra wideband, that's what they're talking about, right? Standard 5G may live in the mid band. When we talk about the mid bands, those frequency ranges are about three and a half, 3.5 gigahertz to six gigahertz, um, or even one gigahertz to 2.6 gigahertz. These are these are frequency bands, right? If you, if you know anything about how radio frequency works, you kind of tune into a station, right? Those stations are where your your bands function, right? When you go to the towers, the little 5G towers, um, they have tuned into certain frequencies to communicate with the devices that need communication with. And when you make a phone call, you're talking to a tower on a particular frequency, right? And there's an exchange there of information, right? So you have to understand that before you really understand how how to invest in 5G, right? Or how to even see what 5G is doing. Because when you really think about what is advertised, like I said before, what they talk about as far as speeds are concerned, as far as how performing, how good performing 5G can be, they talk about the high bands. But when they talk about coverage, 5G coverage, 5G coverage is a combination of all the bands put together. And when you look at what 5G is offering, that means you really have what the 4G networks or the LTE networks have in addition to the higher bands. So once you understand that, right, the only real benefit to 5G is the higher bands. Because in the mid bands, the, the bands that I was talking about, the three and a half to six gigahertz or the one to 2.6 gigahertz frequencies, those frequencies are shared by 4G and LG, LTE phones. They're the same network technologies, the same type of frequency responses that you're gonna get. This, I would say similar latencies. I was gonna say the exact same, but they're not really the same. The 5G technology does use millimeter wave in some of the mid bands. 
and especially in the higher bands you get that because it's exclusive to 5G but what you don't have in the mid bands is you don't have the same type of response that you have in the upper bands so especially given the fact that you're sharing with 4G so you may be prioritized you may have a better priority because you're 5G but that's really up to carriers on the mid bands Carriers love to tier people's um, coverage. They love to meter their their um, their usage. Right? I don't know if you know anything about how uh, the current billing works for most telecommunications providers now for wireless, but everyone is pitching unlimited, right? They say every every plan is unlimited. What's the distinguishing factor? The distinguishing factor is you now are living with other devices in these bands and telecommunications providers have the chance to prioritize whether or not you get access to those bands or not. So something like the higher bands for 5G, right? you may be within range or you may have the ability to access those higher bands and your phone may be uh, capable of doing that, but is, is Verizon, is AT&T, is Sprint, are they going to actually give you access to that at the time? That's going to be based on your plan. That's going to be based on how much you pay. It's also going to be based on your device, too. In some, some instances, the newer 5G devices don't have millimeter wave technology installed in them. They have the ability to be on 5G, take leverage of some of the, the better technologies that 5G has offered, but only in the mid bands or in the lower bands. So once you understand that this is what you're, you're into, you have to really spend time and you have to invest enough energy and effort to understand what you're buying into. Because a lot of vendors, like I said, they come at you and they say, hey, we're gonna get you into 5G, it's the latest technology. You're gonna, you're gonna love it. We're gonna get you on an unlimited plan. The plan you were on before was so much worse than this one and, and, and maybe we'll save you some money. But really in the end, what they've done is they've sold you the same bill of goods under a new umbrella and said, here it is. And what that allows them to do is that it also allows them to, under the new contracts and under the way that 5G works, meter your coverage, make it so that your data usage is within line so that they can meet capacity demands in certain areas. Or when you go to a sporting event, let's say you love to go to sporting events, right? Ultra wideband or high band 5G is offered at most major stadiums nowadays. And when you go to those stadiums, a lot of folks are using their cell phones. That technology is at these stadiums for that very, very reason, right? If you understand how 5G works, the benefit of 5G is that everyone is talking on these higher frequencies frequencies, there's less uh, interference between you know other devices that may be in those bands, right? And there's more antennas. You have the ability to have more people communicating in 5G than ever before. But if you go to a stadium and you don't have the right plan, you don't have the ability to access the ultra wideband. So you will be left out in some sense. There will be the haves and the have nots when it comes to 5G in that sense. You could have the exact same phone, even the same carrier and be on different areas of 5G. So I really hope that this is helpful to you. I hope this makes some sense. Invest in 5G the right way. Understand what it is that you're really investing in. Understand where you're moving to. That is something that is very important to me. It's something I, I, I pride myself in explaining to people and helping them know that 5G is here, it's here to stay, but it's very much still in its infancy. You have to understand that the benefit that 5G is gonna bring us long-term is actually gonna be very great, but it's gonna take us quite a way, while to get there because you have to invest in the higher bands and telecommunications providers are doing that. Um, and that's why they're trying to move a bunch of people into 5G so they, they can say, hey, look, the demand is here. We need to expand. We need government help. The government's constantly giving out money to telecommunications providers and other, you know, other lobbied 
um, industries like transportation and things like that. We really need to understand where it is in its infancy so that you can be in the right position to take advantage of it in the future. And so that, that's what I'm out to do. Please check out my resources down below. Please like and subscribe to this video. If you haven't liked this video or you haven't liked a video of mine, I would love it if you could like just, just any one of my videos. Take a, take a, take a pick, pick one like that video for me it really would help me out help raise awareness what it, for what it is we're doing here when it comes to just sharing of information helping people understand that business owners out there have a lot of different things they can spend some time doing if you spend a few minutes talking talking with me and understanding different technologies you'll be well off and well on your way to to investing in the right things in business so go ahead and like and subscribe to this channel um, tell your friends about this channel please comment down below what you think about 5g is this is this a new thing for you did you understand that there are various bands you know they talk about ultra wideband all the time verizon i like to pick on them but they talk about ultra wideband all the time and i i rarely get access to ultra wideband i have verizon myself and i get access to ultra wideband at various moments in the day but for the most part i'm on just standard 5g which is the same bands is 4g tell me what you think about that and like i said subscribe to my channel and visit my website i am kenross.com and until next time i'll see you around